hi guys. Um, sorry I couldn't be there. Uh, as my group have uh, mentioned, we're working on uh, Saint Lucia, and my part is about whether the uh, presence of all-inclusive hotels is a, re uh, is a positive or detrimental asset towards the tourism destination. Well, to start off with, uh, in theory, um, tourism is supposed to um, benefit the host community by providing positive impacts, such as providing access to um, uh, people with limited access of labor markets, such as um, women, younger people, and people from rural areas. Although when looking at the all-inclusive tourism, we were able to find some negative and some positive impact. One fact that I found very interesting though was the all-inclusive market share has been growing 25% from 2008 to 2013 and is expected to grow. I extracted information from Tourism Concern and Tourism Concern is a market research of over 500,000 holiday makers to extract a um, few questions and I was able to use that for our presentation. So thinking of our of, of your last all-inclusive holiday, how often did you use services not providing in the package, such as restaurant, cafes, bars, excursions? So uh, <clears throat> about seventy-five, per, more than seventy-five percent of the people um, answered that they don't go into excursions outside of the hotel. Excursions meaning using facilities such as bars. Um, restaurants, thing that's gonna um, have the tourists go outside of their um, way and engage with the local community. So according to the pie chart, almost 85%, more than eight, like 85% said that they don't, they won't go outside the hotels. The other question is, who do you think benefits from all inclusive holidays? Um, again, over 60%. Uh, of the people voted that tour operators um, benefit the most. 48.7% believe that um, the tourists are the ones that benefit the most and just 5% um, believe that the host communities benefit. So do you think the all-inclusive model can ever benefit the local communities? So according to the respondents, um, some said never, most of them said rarely um, and some said occasionally. So tourists no, some some tourists believe that they know that what they're buying into is an unsustainable uh, market, but they still do it. So sometimes the problem comes from tourists as well. Uh, so moving on to the last slide. So it's safe to say that um, the all-inclusive model has positive and negative impacts. Um, uh, so according to our findings, we saw that most of the answers lean towards a negative impact, but then. Um, you can also look look at it from another point of the argument and uh, see that the fact that everything is being done inside the hotel is keeping the hotel is keeping the community sustainable. Um, the fact that tourists aren't going outside of the hotel and um, not littering and throwing trash is keeping is one way of sustainability. Thank you very much.